obviously I don't mind people spending money on me like it's so dumb when people are like oh my god no don't spend money on me because like everyone loves like free things I order food every day so that bitch I feel like this is now standard protocol. Wake up, put a beanie on, start my vlog. We're avoiding the hair issues and complaints, so we're just gonna put a beanie on. And it's all sorted, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Good morning everyone, and welcome back to my vlog channel. Oop, mind the pegs. I need to make myself some breakfast, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a really like busy work day today, so I have got so many videos to edit. I've been sent so many files from brands and stuff that I need to get done. And I also could potentially be doing some stuff with ASOS. Not that I'm going to be filming it today. However, I've just been sat on my emails all morning. It's now like half past 11. And I've been sat on my emails literally since probably like... 9 o'clock, which is not that early, but I've been sat on my emails trying to sort out some stuff with ASOS potentially going into their offices tomorrow to go have a meeting with them. So obviously if I do that, I'll end up vlogging it. However, I need to figure out my entire life schedule before I can agree to go into this meeting. Just been listening back to the podcast that we filmed yesterday and it sounds really, really good. However, I don't know why in this one my voice sounds so flat and I'm just sat there like, I think it's because we sat chilling and I forget genuinely that there's a recording on. So instead of me being like, yeah, so what's everyone up to? I'm sort of just there like, yeah, so... I went to the shop the other day and just bought this thing and then we went there and did that and it's like, yeah, no, no, no. Which is kind of relaxing. I've been told so many times by so many different people that my voice on the podcast is really, really relaxing. However, I just feel like it's not as upbeat as I would have liked it to be. But we're going to move on from that. I'm going to make myself some beans on toast because I bought this bread the other day and it actually runs out on the 18th. Today is the 17th and we've got to eat all this bread. So I'm just going to put in the group chat if anyone wants some tax or anything. Please eat it because it goes out of date tomorrow. In fact, I could freeze it. So yeah, we said bye to Anna last night and it's the last time until literally next year. Which I don't mean in like the joke, you're like, oh my god, I haven't showered since next year. But it's the last time we're going to see Anna until next year. We were going to spend New Year's with her, but then now she's jetting off to Barbados with Saf. So we're not actually going to see her over New Year's, which is kind of sad. I don't really know what we're doing for New Year's. I think we're inviting everyone around ours and we're going to have like a little New Year's Eve gathering. I'm not going to say a party because the thought of the house... The thought of a house party in my house really just freaks me out. Like, imagine people in my house, like, on the sofas. Like, I don't know, someone could go in my room and trash my bedroom or stand on my rug. <laughs> My worst fear. Standing on my rug with shoes on is my biggest pet peeve because I got that rug from Urban Outfitters. And yes, bitch, it were gifted. However, it's like £300 and it's like this thick. And as soon as anything goes on it, you cannot get it off for the life of you. Like, even if you drop, I don't know, some string on there. Like, I was doing some sewing the other day. It dropped a bit of string on the carpet. I can't get it out of the carpet. Like, it's like weaved in there. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to make myself a tea. Beans on tights. Oh, I also got a really fun PR package this morning, which is really, really cool. I don't really get many PR packages, and I got one from a brand I'd never actually heard of, but it's a men's makeup brand, and you should see the packaging. So, it's got like a screen in there that talks to you. It's crazy. I'll show you when I go back in my bedroom. And also, it's like men's makeup, but actually like men's makeup that doesn't just look like woman's makeup package to try and appear to a male audience. It obviously probably is the same exact formulas as what is using like woman's concealer and like woman's foundation and BB cream. However, I do think it's slightly different because I put some on my hand earlier and normally to put like makeup on my skin, I guess men and women have different skin. And whenever I put any sort of concealer on my skin under my eyes or anything, you can tell and it doesn't like go, it doesn't sit into my skin, it like sits on top. So I'm excited to try it because I have really bad eye bites that I would love to get rid of. Last time since I've actually picked up my camera, I've pretty much got all my work done. I'm just waiting for something to get approved. I may have to do some slight changes on a video. However, my vlog is currently uploading. That's what I've just been doing. I thought it would be fun to actually go through the stuff that I was talking about earlier. So, a couple of weeks ago, this arrived at my management's office. I've only just gone and picked it up. It is Shake Up Cosmetics. That's the brand name. Now, I thought I would talk to you about this because, like I mentioned, for one, it comes in this really cool box. And not only is it really sleek and, like, minimalistic, however, when you open this up... I saw that it had this in. Now, I thought at first that this was just a palette. And then I opened it up and this happened. Like, this blows my mind. I don't understand how, like, PR packages do this. Or, like, brands think to do stuff like this. Because this is crazy. Hi, my name is Shay. And I'm Jake. And we're founders of Shake Up Cosmetics. Are you kidding? Oh wow, this is actually really interesting. It talks about, like, the science behind men's skin being different to women's. Like I said, women's skin 
I, I thought it was different anyway, but like this actually says why. This is what it comes like in a little, little box. So in here we have, we literally have everything in every shade. I like the packaging as well. Like the packaging's super sleek. It literally, you could put this in like a little makeup bag or something and no one around you would even like think that this is makeup. I don't think I've ever seen concealer in like a tube like this, or at least from what I've seen. It's like a little rolly metal ball, which is also really nice and cold and soothing as you're putting it on. Oh my God, this is literally, my exact skin colour. Maybe I will be using this, who knows? Right, I'm intrigued about this. This is meant to be a volumising and moisturising lip oil or lip gel, or just lip cell. Again, all the packaging is just really sleek, I really like it. Mm, it's quite dry actually. It feels quite sandy. Like, it's not, it's really smooth, but like, when I rub my lips together it feels quite like, Gritty. I don't think it's actually gonna do anything to my lips, not gonna lie, but we'll just see. It's been like two, three minutes. My lips are tingling, but I don't think they look any bigger. But I can definitely feel that they're a little bit tingly. Yeah, I don't know if that does anything. It feels like it does. Right, now that I've gone through that with you, I really ought to tidy my bedroom because <laughs> I always do this. I don't know how. I've been sat at my desk all day long. For some reason, the rest of my bedroom has turned into a giant mess. So this is what the state of my room currently looks like. As you can see, my breakfast is right there. Everything's set on my desk right there. Also, it's been really productive. Behind my desk chair, I'm not gonna show you actually, but you can see like a little sneak peek. A bunch of Christmas presents have come, so now I think all my Christmas shopping is done, apart from the fact that I need to get something else for my brother. I don't think my brother watches my vlogs, but Leon, if you're watching this, don't listen to this part or just skip past this part. And mum, if you're playing it out loud and Leon can hear you. Basically, what I've got my brother for Christmas, it's not like an actual gift, it's more of like an experience. So, because it's not like a physical thing that I can wrap, I wanna get him something that links to the thing that he's gonna be doing as like a clue but also so he gets to open something on Christmas because obviously I've got my mum and dad presents that are able to be wrapped up so I want to sit on Christmas morning and at least feel like I've given my brother a present. I know that sounds so dumb but my parents used to do it for me like if they bought me concert tickets for example they would get something that relates to that as like a hint but apart from that I am um, I'm all done for Christmas like all my Christmas shopping's done it was really really easy. I never normally do this but I shopped like a mixture of online and in store. I normally I'm such a like online type of shopper when it comes to Christmas just because I feel like it's just so easy to sit at my laptop and actually just order everything online even though I could go into store and pick it up I'd much rather just get it out of the way get it done and I really knew what I would get in each person for Christmas this year as well I only struggled with my brother just because he's now got a job and I feel like when you start to earn your own money and stuff it doesn't really feel like you wait for anything in particular for Christmas I'm hoping he's gonna like it and appreciate it more than like some clothes or something but yeah I've got everyone sorted I'm so excited I'm really like unsure whether I want to vlog Christmas Day just because I want to vlog it for the memory and I definitely Definitely will film it for like myself however I always find it really awkward showing everyone what I've like got my parents and stuff and like I know watching vlogs I personally don't see it as like someone showing off what they can afford to buy someone or anything like that and also I'm also the type of person that I don't ask for anything for Christmas myself like I literally don't expect anything from anyone on my birthday on Christmas I never celebrate my birthday I celebrate Christmas obviously as a family but you'll see on all my birthday vlogs that I've had me and my family got it for a meal and that's pretty Pretty much it because I hate the boss. I don't like people spending money on me as dumb as that sounds I don't like people I care about spending money on me But if like a sugar daddy wants to spend money on me, you know, then I'm fine with it But when it's like my parents and I know how hard it is for people to earn money and like stuff like that I don't like it But I do love giving back to my mum and dad because obviously they've been amazing parents So every single year I do go above and beyond but then I feel like this year I've gone above and beyond above and beyond. So I want to vlog it because I want to like see my parents reactions and like save that memory for like us to watch back but I feel weird maybe putting it online. Let me know what you think. I'm asking the question to you guys. I don't want to put it online and pe make people feel shit about themselves. Not that saying that I've like bought my mum a car or bought my mum a house. I don't want to make someone else's day feel like well I got my mum this for Christmas and Byron got his mum this for Christmas you know. I don't like that shit. I feel like Christmas should be just about your family and you and like not sharing it to the world but then I also get that part of what I do is to share it to the world. And I love watching people's Christmas vlogs as well so I'm like in the middle ground of like fuck what do I do please let me know I need to hide in my room oh. I don't know if I worded what I was saying in the last clip too well and I know you're all really really nice and probably aren't gonna like pick up on it but I know someone will but I just want to just put it out there what I mean by I don't want people to spend money on me is obviously I don't mind people spending money on me like it's so dumb when people are like oh my god no don't spend money on me because like everyone loves like free things. I don't like my family spending money on me. Um, 
and my friends when I know how hard money's been for them. Like I know my parents and my family have really struggled financially a lot in the past and like still probably will in the future. Fingers crossed not as bad as like times have been but I feel like I've seen my mum and dad really struggle when it comes to money and I know for a fact my mum and dad have been struggling when it comes to money and then it's come up to my birthday or come up to Christmas and they've either worked literally till death's door to try and get me a birthday present or they've literally spent every last penny they have to get me a birthday present and I know it's because they want to and not because they feel they need to. I don't want to add any more pressure to it so I never ask for anything for Christmas which will probably make my mum's hard my mum's job harder but like I realistically do not expect anything for Christmas or anything for my birthday for that matter and that's why I don't like celebrating my birthday because I don't like the pressure that everyone else feels. I love people's birthdays, love celebrating people's birthdays, love celebrating Christmas but I don't like people celebrating my birthday or getting me things on Christmas especially when I know how hard that person's had to work for it if that makes sense and I'm sure like my mom and dad feel the same way about me buying them things because they see how hard I work and all that so it works both ways but I didn't want you to watch that clip and be like oh my god he's such like he's just saying this for the camera like he's just saying oh my god don't spend money on me because obviously everyone likes free things but I feel like once you get to a stage in your life where you either realize the struggle of earning your own money through having to earn your own money yourself or you see your parents or people that you love and care about go through financial struggles and then you actually realize like shit the value of money is crazy and you shouldn't be spending this much on me just because it's Christmas or just because I was born on a certain day. I just wanted to throw that in there before. I know you guys wouldn't pick up on it and wouldn't try and pick it apart like that because you're all really sweet. But I know someone would. And for you, I'm not letting you run away with a story and a narrative that's not real. <laughs> um, anyway, I need to tidy my room. Just thought I'd throw that in there, you know, to make all ends meet, make everyone happy and make it seem like I wasn't a cunt bag. So, if anyone wants to send me money to my PayPal, I'm kidding. I'm gonna tidy my room. Ta-da! My room is all clean and tidy. I just organized my rail. I've packaged and balanced everything nicely on my desk. And now I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's with Freya. Um, I'm gonna come back, actually, and open the entirety of my body shop calendar just because I've not been doing it every single day. And also I realized that there's gonna be stuff in there that I either already have already or that I won't use so I can actually package it up and take it back home with me when I go home in a couple of days. So whilst I'm like in this cleaning process, I may as well go through that and then I can also figure out like who I'm gonna give it to because I'm sure my nan and like my cousin and stuff but absolutely love it and it saves me having all this stuff on my side. Do you know we've left this door on for the past three days? No, no. we haven't because I've been locking it every night because no one else has. I order food every day because I'm so. a fat bitch. And oh I my God, I'm so sorry everyone, I just thought I'd I'm give that. So you've been leaving the door, we haven't. Oh. Why don't you put the fucking phone down? Look how cute that Christmas tree is out there, on that balcony. We should do that. I can't believe we've not got a Christmas tree. Right, Christmas is obviously next week, so we don't need to do like a full food shop. But then trying to find things that aren't gonna like last me that long mm. is also really difficult because of how like much you're getting everything that. I'm just gonna buy a packet of salmon. And there's too much salmon in there, so I won't eat it. Too much. I don't know what to do. Maybe I get, I need to get one this thing. This is actually a lot harder than it is. I um, now respect my mum for being able to do this because I'm shit at it. So it says for a little Sainsbury's shop, we are now walking back home. It was so funny, I was going around doing my shopping and I thought Freya were behind me and then all I heard is like a little girl singing a TikTok song so I turned around thinking it was Freya and it was just some random girl I feel like I literally just stood in shit but I didn't um it was just some random little girl singing TikTok songs and I'm like oh she like put me in your mouth baby and eat it oh, your teeth right oh. and I'm like oh this is funny I've done a little shop now I don't think I've got everything I was walking around like I said like not knowing what to get because obviously Christmas is next week I don't want to stock my cupboards up and then not eat any of the food and it all just goes off so I think I've got enough to last me but then I feel like I'm also gonna have to do a food shop because I never checked what were in my freezer I always go out and do a food shop not actually looking what's in my cupboards already so <laughs> rookie move there but we're on our way back home now and then I don't know what I'm gonna do I need to edit my video actually that's what I'm gonna do when I get back in back at my desk Remember when Zoe used to do like a full on like food shop haul? Like I used to sit and watch Zoe in like the first flat she had in Brighton and watch her do like an entire like So guys I went to Tesco! Um, but we're not gonna do that, I'm just gonna put it all in the fridge and we're gonna move on with our lives. Yeah. But I did get some chocolate so here's that. 
Right, I'm trying to persuade Freya to do a TikTok with me. Basically, I always watch the like POV Chavy Girl TikToks and Freya always does this stupid northern accent and for the past half an hour she's been sat on the end of my bed doing this narrative of this Chavy Girl like Christmas haul type video and it's so fucking funny but she won't let me film it with her and do a TikTok so now I'm making pasta instead because mm -hmm. Freya's disappointed me. My one Christmas dream. You are not my dad. I don't, do, I only disappoint my parents, okay? <laughs> Well, now I'm making pasta because Freya's disappointed. I'm not doing it, my room. Why? Hey, Uncle Farrell. been through my body shop calendar and actually emptied everything out of it. I was going to sit there and go through each of the days but I didn't want to ruin it for those of you that may have the calendar because obviously we're not actually on the 25th yet but I'm going to go home soon and also like I said earlier maybe I'll be able to give some of this stuff. So we have this cute little eye mask thing which I'm actually going to keep and we're definitely going to use this because I actually would have I would look into get an eye mask so fun. Um, I already have this. Don't really know what that is. I'll have a look at that. I have a mini version of that that I actually got. Might give that to my mom. But yeah there seems to be quite a theme with this stuff a lot of it's like this british rose scent brush here some moisturizers some face mask but yeah obviously this is not all the stuff because i did open like the first like 15 days already but i just wanted to get rid of all this clutter because it was up there and i just wanted to put this like in the recycling and sort it all out before i need to go home and stuff and now for the moment you've all been waiting for i'm gonna cut this little ipad thing out of here right we're not playing no one probably even gives a shit but um i want to know what this thing is Sorry Shake Up Cosmetics if you're watching this and I understand that this took a lot of production but I'm really curious to know what type of tablet or device mm. It's literally just a screen Oh my god I thought it was going to be like a fun tablet but it's literally just a screen Can I get electrocuted from this shirt? Probably Hi my name is Shane Hi That would disappoint him Right guys, you are not going to believe it. This is revolutionary. I have just edited up a main channel video for my own channel that I'm actually going to be uploading tomorrow. So the day after you're watching this, a main channel video went up. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who I am. I basically filmed a video the other day clearing out my wardrobe and I started editing it the other day. I was like, I don't really like this at all. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm just really stressing about my main channel because I'm thinking about it so much that I'm thinking ev about it too much. So like everything I do, I think is awful. And I was just like, you know what? I am enjoyed filming this video. I'm going to edit it up. I'm going to try and enjoy it as much as I can. And I'm just going to see what it finishes up looking like and being like and what the vibe is. And I really like it. So I'm uploading that tomorrow. I want to get back on my main channel. I need to set myself an actual schedule. But my job is just so all over the place. Like I've literally been sat at my desk for probably three hours. In that time, I've edited up my own vlog, edited up my main channel. My vlog's currently uploading. My main channel's already uploaded and scheduled and stuff. I've done all the thumbnails. Whilst I'm waiting for some videos to be sent over to me so I can add I'm into some stuff that I'm working on uh, and finish it up but like it's now half past 11 at night and I got the footage like half an hour ago and I normally would stay up and get it done like I used to stay up until stupid times in the morning then wake up super early to finish it and it's like that's so dumb like no one works during those hours so why am I putting myself through that so I'm gonna have to wake up in the morning and get that finished and sent over for approval but at least my own stuff's done I mean I'm on a reliable schedule for my stuff but everyone else's stuff throws my own schedule off which is kind of annoying just gotta do what you gotta do gotta earn the dollar Look how ridiculous this is. I got this Centro Pay bag full of fake tan the other day when I went for a spray tan, which I've also got to go through. However, I've just been dumping a bunch of PR stuff in here. It's now fully body shop, fake tan, other bits and bobs. I really need to go through this because before I go home for Christmas, I want to figure out what I'm going to use in there and what I should give away just so I can take it up to so like my mom, my nan, my cousin. I keep repeating myself, but this bag is so damn heavy and I don't know where to put it. So like the rest of the stuff that doesn't really belong in my room, it's just going to just gonna sit there until I have a chance to go through it. Also, Oh no, I thought my hand looked, my arm looked really tanned and then my hand didn't, but never mind. Anyway, I'm now gonna clear the rest of the stuff off my bed, finish uploading my vlog and get in bed myself. So on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, give the video a massive thumbs up. You know what to do. It's been more of a chill day. I don't think I've actually left the house apart from going to Sainsbury's earlier with Freya, but this is just like the reality of my life. Like, I'm literally sat at my desk, believe it or not, all day long. So I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. Like I said, a couple vlogs ago, I really wanna try and like almost daily vlog and just create as much content on this channel as possible. So if days like this, 
this are gonna happen, then days like this are gonna happen. Anyway, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm just thinking into it too much because I love when people have really cozy, like homely vlogs. So yeah, let me know what you think. Give the video a massive thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. My hair is greasy, so I need to wake up and shower. So if you want to see me wake up and shower, stay tuned till tomorrow. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Anyway, I love you all lots, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Thank you.